The famous footage of the demise of the Hindenburg, no massive disaster like that had ever been caught on camera before, although actually most people think hundreds of people died, it was 35. But 67 people survived, compare that to the 1,517 of the Titanic that sadly didn't, which interestingly wasn't filmed. But the Hindenburg burning is the image everyone thinks of when you say airships, and maybe that's why development of airships has always been so stilted. And the surviving footage is only from one angle. But what if we could use AI to work out what the other camera angles looked like? Well, that technology is almost there. Hi. I'm Unreal Dean, the AI version of the real Dean Arnett, who's off doing a film recce somewhere. Ah, yes, there he is. Anyway, although we might not just yet be able to create the unfilmed camera angles of historical events, we can create pretty convincing video versions of these events, easily, cheaply, and in minutes, using AI. So, we can therefore imagine these other camera angles. Helium heads, that's fans of airships like the real Dean, will tell you that these AI generated shots bear only a passing resemblance to the real Hindenburg. But it is possible right now to create these shots using AI, and it's not that hard, which means it's not that expensive. At its core, AI-generated video involves feeding massive amounts of data into an algorithm, images, video footage, and historical records. For something like the Hindenburg, we already have grainy footage of the actual event, but AI can enhance it by filling in the gaps. In the case of historical events that weren't captured on film, AI uses photographs, paintings, and written descriptions to generate realistic simulations. Advanced deep learning models analyze every aspect from the clothing styles to the weather conditions. The result is a piece of video that not only feels authentic, but also makes these long gone moments feel almost contemporary. Traditional documentaries rely on narration and static images to tell a story, but AI generated recreations pull the viewer directly into the action. Imagine being able to watch the signing of the Declaration of Independence, or walk through the streets of ancient Rome, all as if you were there. But there's more to it than just entertainment. AI recreations could help historians visualize events from angles never before seen. They allow us to re-examine critical moments in time with a new lens. For instance, AI might recreate multiple perspectives of an event like the assassination of JF Kennedy helping historians and public better analyze the circumstances surrounding it. But just because we can, does that mean we should? The real Dean always says documentaries are called documentaries because they document history. While AI is incredibly sophisticated, it's still limited by the data it's given. If historical records are incomplete or biased, AI-generated videos could perpetuate these inaccuracies. Imagine an AI-created reenactment that incorrectly portrays a crucial battle or misrepresents the actions of historical figures. It's a delicate balance between recreation and distortion. But, like airship technology, AI tools in news and media should not be ignored because of the visceral psychological reaction the thought of them generates. It's time to be realistic about the pros and cons and embrace the benefit they can provide. Subscribe to see other video and AI tips from me, well, him. And if you'd like to learn how to create photorealistic video shots, sequences, or whole films, go and check out my, well, his, full broadcast media and AI training masterclasses at www.deanarnet.com. Or check out the pre recorded training masterclasses at www.videoschool.dnarnet.com. Or if you need face to face training or AI consultancy support, get in touch directly. And for that, you'll get the real Dean Arnett. <laughs>